What's up, y'all? What's this is the new Anything Goes podcast. Anything goes. And I do mean anything goes. Yes, sir. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Big Ski. Big Ski, baby. The other host is Dusty Joe. Dusty Joe. And we got house. a special co-host from time to time, my boy Neil Ray, that'll be tapping in Neil with us. Neil Ray. Man, we talking about it all. So welcome to the show, baby. I'm on the block and get hot. hot. Niggas crazy. Niggas crazy. Niggas tripping like What up, y'all? This your boy, Big Ski. This your boy, Dusty Joe. Man, your boy, Neil Ray. We here. Man, and we back with another episode of Anything Goes. And today, like any other motherfucking Sunday, anything goes. Anything's gonna go, hopefully. Man, what's up with y'all, bro? Man, can't call it, man. Just blessed to be here with y'all, man. Man, you it is a blessing, me. too, bro. Man, come on. Hey. How was your weekend, Joe? How's my weekend? Yeah. My weekend was very non fucking productive. Again? Due due to certain circumstances that were beyond I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say. Yeah, I don't know. Beyond my control. Uh huh. I am without a vehicle at the moment, so I had nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, so you were stuck. I was I was basically stuck. Ah, okay. Okay. Shit happens, bro. I seized the engine on my truck, so I need a new I need a new motor. No shit. So I'm out of I'm out of a truck right now. You know what, Joe? <clears throat> what, what what's the saying? Uh, when it rains, it pours. Yeah, but at the same time, it's not cloudy every day. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not, true. Joe. So hey, if I can say something to you to make you feel a little bit better, bro. I mean, okay, the truck is broke down, engine is seized. But you here with your boys, man. Yes, sir. I'm, well, I almost called off. What, to the podcast? Yeah. Oh, I almost man. called out. You's a goddamn liar. <laughs> Not when I got a couple cars, I'll come get I, you. I man. almost did a fucking no call, no show. Oh, you's a goddamn liar, nigga. I'd have been out. Hey, and, and, Write me up, motherfucker. And you know the beauty of it? We wasn't supposed to have a show today. Yeah. You know Shit what? Uh, um, I was I was supposed to go out to um, Kushstock in Adelanto. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, plans fell through. You know, we didn't go certain circumstances, you know, beyond beyond my control. You know, one yeah. was my truck. Yeah. And then, you know, me and my daughter, and my son-in-law were going to go. Uh-huh. Shit happened. Shit fell through, so we didn't go. Okay. I heard you and Chris was into it, and you had to punch him in the fucking gut. Oh, you man. You had to sucker punch him. What happened there, man? <laughs> Is this the right weekend, or am I making that up? <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, but you know what happened there? <laughs> Yo, you at work the other day. That, yeah. I don't know what happened at work the other day. Oh, I don't oh, know. Man. That's a good way to change the subject. <laughs> hey, Ray, man, how was your weekend, bro? Oh, man, it was a good one, man. You know, we got to send my bro off right, and, you know, everybody came out and showed love, man. It was it was really dope. You know? Hey, rest in peace to your bro again, yes, sir, bro. Man. Rest I, in peace I actually page, seen man. some of the pictures you put up. Thank you for posting those, bro. Oh, man. You know. You know Man, you motivated me too, man. At first, I wasn't, but I'm like, you know what? Yeah, people need to see this, man. They, they know, need to see, see it, bro. You know. And I love when y'all set the doves off, bro. I, it, it was a good thing, bro. One of the reasons why I told you you should post the pictures, and it's gonna hurt, but it's a good memory, uh, a good memory that's gonna come up every year on Facebook, bro, around this time. So it's gonna always help you to remember. Man, that's bro, real. You know what I'm saying? That's real, man. Y'all see me, man. I'm representing out here, man. You know. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, show him the shirt, man. Right there. There it goes. That's like a sketch of bro, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Rest in peace to bro again, man. Hey, how, how's the family holding up? How's mom's doing, bro? Man, everybody holding up pretty well, you know, trying to stay strong for one another. Hey, know? that's what it's about right now. Man. This is a time where everybody got to come together. You know what I'm saying? And just be there for each other, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Plain I, I really just... feel the love, man. I just want to say thank you to all my fam. You feel me? Everybody that pulled up. That was a blessing. And everybody that was just there. You know what I mean? Just, you know, you know, talking to us. You know what I mean? Just giving yeah. us good good vibes, bro. I really appreciate y'all, man. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Family should always stick together in a time of need, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Joe, why the fuck is you looking at me like that? <laughs> 
Well, I ain't say shit. <laughs> you, that boy, if if the camera was on you, you you didn't have to say shit, Joe. It was just the look you gave me, the one eye closed and like all this? that shit. That, no, the other look, motherfucker, that you oh, gave man. me. Joe be on some bullshit early in the morning. <laughs> y'all, oh, hey, y'all best believe Joe is with the bullshit. Joe don't fuck around and be advertising it a lot, or he don't put the camera on him. But Joe with the bullshit. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, and then he gonna do it again with the camera off from Joe with the bullshit. I'm gonna tell y'all, man. Hey, hey man, it's Sunday, oh, man. Shit. I'm glad that y'all here, man. Yeah, yeah. Sunday hey. fucking fun day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hey, we got a show coming up. You wanna tell them what it is? No. Yo, show, motherfucker. It's the Dusty Joe Kickback Hour on Big Ski Radio. Yes, sir. What time? Live three sixty five. What time? It come on, Joe. Starts at five. Yes, sir. And then at in, three, we got the podcast. Yes, we do. But what's happening at seven? At seven, we got the uh, little Chicano gangster rap kind of segment. Okay. You know, play Latino rap for about an hour. Dusty Joe is in the building. The Dusty yes, Joe sir. kickback hour. Y'all definitely want to tune in and, and check that out. Hey, it's some good music that Joe playing over there, man. It's different from what you hear on the uh, regular radio show. It's music you can cruise to, music you can barbecue to. Yes, man. you can. Yes, you can. You know, have a nice, chill evening. You want to just drink a beer, hang out, or cruise. You can do it. Hey, today is a perfect weather for your music, bro. So if y'all ain't tapped into the Dusty Joe Kickback Hour and the uh, Latino Hip Hop, hey, y'all missing out, man. Dusty Joe is on the airwaves. We got it cracking, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. I tried to watch that new motherfucking uh, Avatar last night, bro. I turned that did, shit off, bro. Do, do, do you understand yeah, why sorry, the bro. other day I told you I seen it? Uh huh. But I was like, nah, you watch it? I, I turned you that said shit you'll never watch off. it again, huh? I, 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 I was lost, bro. The, the last one came out 2011. Yeah. I gotta go back and watch three hours of that motherfucker to catch back up to watch three hours of this shit. I ain't I'm got that time, lie, bro. Now, the first one was actually I saw that one. That yeah. one was actually interesting. It's a long ass movie. Yes, but, it is. Uh, I think it's it would be worth watching. I ain't gonna but lie. this part two, bro. I'm like, you know, I I got maybe about 30, 40 minutes into it. I'm like, enough of this shit. Fucking I was lost. Super Mario Brothers was better than that. <laughs> I haven't seen Super Mario. The fucking Mario cartoon that just came out. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never seen that. I, I thought the fucking Super Mario Brothers cartoon was way fucking better than Avatar. Can, can you believe that shit? Yes, I can. I, th- I, th- I thought it was better than fucking Creed 3. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. I, I watched Super Mario Brothers cartoon uh, twice already. Mm. Those other movies I said, I've only watched them once and I won't watch them again. Did Real you shit. watch that uh, that Monique special? No, I didn't watch I it. I didn't watch it. it. I Damn, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was dying, man. I ain't gonna lie. Well, it was some dry, dry spots, but you know what I'm saying? Some spots was pretty cool. You, you know, um, me and Ski were talking about this earlier. I don't really watch a lot of comedy. Like stand-up? Anymore. Because it seemed like all the comedy I, I end up watching gets political. I'm gonna tell you, though, or, bro. Or they start telling you weird fucking stories and shit. It's like, where's the comedy? Yeah. Only people I... I could say that's really solid. Like, I, man, you already, you got a few already. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know, the GOATs, you feel me? Like, Eddie Murphy's, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, but, hey, Richard Eddie Pryor. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. Yeah, fucking. You know. But I'm going to tell y'all, though, bro, with the Monique shit, it was kind of dry to me, bro. Yeah. She she was saying how uh, she was a product of special education. And she was just kind of dwelling on that. Some of it was kind of okay, but it was just kind of dry. And I was like, I can't watch no more of this shit. I, I turned it the fuck off. I'm like, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I now, where would you rank Chris Rock's compared to hers? I didn't watch it either. You didn't watch his either? I think Chris Rock's was better than me, bro. Definitely me too. I think it I was, think better. was better. He was just rolling. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There wasn't no, you know, no dry areas. He just kept it rolling. And Chris Rock is not one of my favorite stand-up comedians, but it, his was better than Monique's to me, bro. I turned hers off. I'm like, I'm cool. But I'm going to tell you, the funniest cat that I done seen... In a while was that dude Jay Will that I was telling y'all about. Dude, I still ain't checked him out. Dude was funny as a motherfucker. I was drunk and I'm watching this shit. I'm in here cackling like a motherfucker. I'm like, this motherfucker is funny as fuck. Come on, you know what I'm saying? But I, you got to be drunk to watch comedy. No, but it it just makes it that much better. Yeah, yeah. Like whether I'm drunk or sober, I can make shit funnier than Monique shit. 
<laughs> like, I'm just shit. keeping it one thou wow, nigga. I can shit. Hey, nigga, I got South some jokes Spire, for you. So, so do you have hey. a whole stand up show or do you have like maybe three, four minutes? When I'm loaded, nigga, I got a hot five minutes. Oh, so there I'm you go. Kill in that five minutes. <laughs> so you don't need to give me an hour long stand up because my shit gonna be like Monique shit. It's gonna be some dry so, spots. So like you, you, you don't need a whole show. You just need like something like. Um, I just need to be on the show. Give me, me about what, five what minutes. What was that one show? Um. You talk about like Comic View or young, young, Yeah, Comic View. Put me on all that shit, but only give me about anywhere yeah, from three just, to five you, minutes. You just need and a I'm couple on. of minutes. Hey. Yeah. I got to be fucked up, though, because I'm funny when I'm fucked up. When I'm sober, it's just whatever. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm that. fucked up, nigga, I don't give a fuck. You, know, you can shake me or whatever, <clears throat> spin me and push me out there. Hey. Nigga, it's going down. On, I don't bro. know about that. I know you're funny, <laughs> funny looking, but... Ain't that a bitch? Oh, man. You a guana face looking <laughs> motherfucker. You... <laughs> Yo. Oh man! Hey, this motherfucker come in and want to. Hey, hey. <laughs> you lizard lip bastard! Y'all, <laughs> y'all going hey. in early. <laughs> hey, I, shit! I, I try not to talk about my hey. friends and shit, but since me and you are not friends, you motherfucker. Uh. Hey, nigga, we can go in. Oh, hey, don't man. play. I stay ready for the bullshit. I'ma just tell you. Oh shit! I woke up this morning on some bullshit. Like fuck it, nigga. Who I'm gonna clown today? Oh, but unfortunately, man. our 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 buddy didn't You guys come always fucking with me. Oh, yeah, bro. Crazy guy. He didn't come through. Yeah, he bro. didn't come through. Joe had a whole dialogue for this nigga today. Joe was going to get him at first sight. You oh, know man. what I'm saying? I'm like, Joe had the comedy hey. light up. Oh, when you I came see. in, it was like, no, he ain't going to come. Joe like, fuck, I got to switch gears. Now. I got to change up my whole... His whole I got to hey. change up my whole... My Joe whole, whole spill today was going to be, as soon as he walked in, Joe oh, was going to start see. getting on him. I said, oh, shit, it's going to be interesting well, You got to come ready. You see, you got to come ready, man. Hey, man. It was going to be interesting today. <laughs> Joe was like, nah, it's home. Because <laughs> at, this, at this point in time, he family right now. So hey, come on. Yeah, we got the first interview out the way. Now it's on. It's open crack. season. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was, on, hey. <laughs> so, hey, I'm going to tell you, if you got jokes or you on some bullshit, Dusty Joe is going to be ready for that ass. That goes to whoever need to hear that. He said he got a clip ready, man. Yeah, whoever need to hear that, Joe is ready for your ass. He ain't playing. Oh, shit. Yo, I was reading this story, bro, about a dude, man, who a uh, Chinese dude. He waited outside his girl job for 21 hours, you know, begging her to come back. Wait. Know. Now, how, how long would y'all wait for y'all girl? Wait, man? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> 21 hours. 21 hours, man. You outside your girlfriend job. And you begging her to come back. Man. First off, if she broke up with me and it's because of my bullshit, like I done did some silly shit, I might be on the phone, like trying to get her to come back, but I'm not going to her job and she looking out the window like, look at this dumb motherfucker out here. <laughs> That's what I'm not going to do. Nigga, I got too much pride for that. I'm not going to go out there. Hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm keeping no. it real. I may show up with lunch or something, like if we go eat or something, you know Man. what I'm saying? But nigga, I'm not finna be out there 21 hours begging her to come back. I don't give a fuck if I, I'm the cause or not. I just want to know one thing. Yeah. Was she actually at work? Ooh. That's a good question. Hey. That's some shit. Oh, what what, what was he like? Was he that. like out there like fucking straight? He was like out here on old his... school movies with the radio. Wait. He was out there on his knees. On his on knees. His knees. <laughs> but Joe, for 21 hours, who the fuck worked 24, 21 hours? That's yeah, what I'm that's saying. Crazy. Like, was she the there? Right. You know Did she, like, sneak out the back door? Yo. I can see if the motherfucker was at home hey. and the nigga said, she, it's on the weekend or off day and I'm out there 21 hours. This nigga in front of her job, bro. 21 Man. hours. You only work eight hours. Nigga, why don't you go home and come back? Man, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Come on, man. Well, you know what? That, that's kind of crazy, too, because you know what? You ever heard these stories about broads that the dudes the dudes break up with these females? Mm -hmm. And fucking females end up, like, texting and calling them. Well, here's a story. There was a story I read that this broad dude broke up with this chick, and she, like, texted him and called him, like, 17,000 times. God damn. In like 24 hours. That's nigga, you can extreme. get arrested for that she shit. She did. Man. She got arrested. Yeah. For like public a nuisance or some shit like that. Yeah, you a nuisance if you text but me or call me got, like she that. She got arrested. Yeah, as they should. Now what so she doing? So do, do you think maybe dude should have got arrested? Ooh, good question. Public nuisance? Good question. I, mean, I yeah, can't live there. without her. And she probably don't want to walk by. Did disrupting like, yeah, business. Yeah. To walk by this nigga like <laughs> creating, <laughs> creating. Oh no, he didn't work there. I was gonna say creating a hostile work environment. That's what man. But, but he didn't work there. Dude, but twenty one hours. Hey, what the fuck is you thinking? 
Nigga, get get a backbone. Nigga, get up on your knees. Imagine, knees. imagine sitting on a toilet for twenty one hours. You ain't can't no feel man. your legs. Imagine being on you your knees. You ain't gonna feel your legs after twenty one hours <laughs> on the toilet. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You gonna fall right the fuck on your face. <laughs> just, 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 get up, man. Just, just imagine your legs you after a few minutes. Come on. Imagine being on your knees for twenty one hours. That's I crazy, ain't getting bro. on my knees for nine and motherfucking woman. That's crazy. No man. woman. I ain't getting on my goddamn knees unless I'm asking her to marry me. Deep. Then that's different. So that means you're never gonna get on your knees again. But you know we in the area not again. where it's these chicks. I'm not gonna say they demand that, but they want you. To the only be, way I'm gonna get on my knees if I trip and fall. They want you to be. <laughs> they, but in a sense, like for real, bro, they want you to be obsessed with them. You feel me? Like we in that type of generation this time. I don't know what's that's going because on because there's so many thirsty ass youngsters out there, bro. That was what I, I was. I was looking at this. But I'm like, man, I could love you, but I gotta be to the I was, I was watching I this, like, this, this you know, video. I was some, but I don't know, man. I was watching this video about this female. Female looks at this dude, and he, he you know. She straight tells him, "You need to buy me a house." Yeah, yeah. He's like, "I ain't I got need, no problem with I need to buy house. you a house." Like, man, nah. but she don't want to. She doesn't want to contribute. She wants to be. I mean, if you the breadwinner, though, it shouldn't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like him. You, yeah, like. Bro, I will buy any woman I'm dealing with a house. I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, no problem. You got it, bro. Like even man. if I ain't got it, I'll buy one. But you married? House. Yeah, you married though, son. You, you married. married, and she say you need to buy her house. Yeah. Or a girlfriend. 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 You, oh, girlfriend. girlfriend. I'll buy my wife or girlfriend a house, bro. I ain't tripping. Now, the houses will be a little different, though. Mm -hmm. If we marry, you get a house like this. I ain't saying it's, it's bombing, but it's ours. But if you're my girlfriend and you're demanding this and you ain't bringing shit in, I can always find a Barbie house somewhere to, at the store. See, you didn't clarify what kind mm. of house. Bitch, I'm going to buy you that, that Barbie, Barbie house. dream house. <laughs> Bitch, there you go. Dang, See if you can fit in that motherfucker. But I ain't got a problem with buying her a house, bro. Bro, can you believe they're renting fucking, their fucking Home Depot sheds? Yo, I, I For was like $2,700 a month. I was just month. talking to a dude about that. He said like a... The sheds is big than a motherfucker. I started to put my studio in one. He was saying like a fucking, not even a garage. Like It was something odd, bro, but... Like a little random back house, but it wasn't even by like 10. Yeah, like a little, little fucking shit. shit. You yeah. feel me? Like, and they rent that out for like damn near 12. You feel me? Or 600. Nigga, so I thought about putting the bottle down this that's bitch. That's exactly what they did. It's, there's six on each side, so it's 12 for the whole unit. Like, he making oh, 1200. Nigga, I'm gonna put a motherfucking 10 by 10, bro. wall down the middle uh, of this motherfucker right here, nigga. Uh -huh. we, gonna rent, we gonna rent that side and out. I'm, bro, I'm telling you, that's a lick. Like, for real. That's it some, might get a little noisy on Sundays to them motherfuckers, but we gonna rent it the fuck out. Oh, God. No oh, shit, huh? I'm telling you, bro. Telling you, bro, it's money in that. They gonna pay for all this shit. We gonna have bro. free beer on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I'm telling you, you stupid. It. The dude was telling me that too. He like, nah, bro, been doing this for years too. Like he really? been just stacking up. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. There, there used to be this little place up here on um, what like 135th and Alameda, something like that, mm -hmm. over by Stockwell, by by the elementary school. Okay. They used to have a um, I don't know if it's still there, but they used to have a lot. Uh huh. And the lot had like a bunch of one room studio rooms. They had maybe like 12, 13, 14 of them motherfuckers just lined up. Really? And they rented all of them out. They, they had a it was a they had a community facility where you go wash and you could okay. shower and you know yeah. go to the bathroom and everything. Nigga, I'm put, I'm looking at like my seven, water It was like seven hundred dollars a month. Damn, really? seven hundred. But just a room. Come on, bro. Now, what you just said, they don't even have a bathroom. No, they, it was, they, had, they had like a... In the same people I'm telling you about. Like a they community. Don't have a bathroom, oh, okay. But they paying six. You feel me? It's, uh, it's Damn. Like, you like, still got to get up and go wash your ass. What did you say? Like house. a community man. wash house? Some shit like that? You got to go take a shit in the bucket or some shit. Oh, man. Uh-uh. I can't... Uh-uh. I don't and know about the, that. The, the, the outside living arrangements did, did deteriorate after time. Man. I can They're, imagine. Come on. You know what I'm because saying? Are you going to run... To be honest, are you gonna fucking you gotta piss in the middle of the night? You gonna fucking Dude. run all the way to where you gotta go? Or you gonna go on the side of your fucking house? I'm gonna go on the side of the house. <laughs> right? The, hey, that's gonna be good for the garden. <laughs> I'm, I'm watering the motherfuckers at night. Oh shit! Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, hey, it's whatever. Come on. Oh, hey man, I was reading this story in Linwood, bro. These motherfuckers are stealing the catalytic converter. A, a catalytic converter. They were stealing this motherfucker, and a nigga called him a shit. He tried to run out, hey, hey, and they ran a nigga over, bro. That's so they done right stole there. this shit plus ran this nigga over. Yeah. Wait, wait, you... wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 
Wait, 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 mm-hmm. wait. They ran who over? The dude the, stealing the converter? No, the dude. Or the, the owner? What, the owner. Yeah. This oh, nigga ran and said, hey, what y'all doing? And they run this nigga over. They got his shit plus ran him over. Did you did you see the one where the fucking dude was on the passenger side? Under the truck? Trying to steal the catalytic converter? Fucking chick comes in and gets it, starts her car and... Doo, doo, doo. Ran that, mother- <laughs> ran that motherfucker over. Man. She didn't know he was stealing she didn't her even shit. Know he was stealing it. Nah. That's crazy, yo. <laughs> well, welcome to the ghetto, nigga. <laughs> Be like, oh, my bad, nigga, you okay? <laughs> you know, a lot, of, a lot of shit, though, lately. I mean, is it just me or just lately? A lot of motherfuckers are, are real brazen lately. Bad. Whether it comes to fucking stealing. I remember back in the day, motherfuckers would steal your catalytic converter in the middle of the night. Now they do a broad daylight. These motherfuckers do it in broad daylight. You, you know they lie, hit a broad bro. at the job, bro. Broad daylight, parking lot and shit. They pull in that motherfucker, pull behind her car, snatch her shit. She come outside, see these niggas pulling off, but she didn't know they had stole hers. But her car was on the lot, right? Yeah. So she getting paid by the school, right? Nah, for she her. had to pay for her shit herself. But I thought anything that happened on campus ground, as long as she got all her stuff... No, no sir. No, sir. You parked so at your own discretion. Your, so what if... That's what, different. Okay, got you. That's different. Gotcha. Somebody hits your shit on the job, that's different. But what if a kid fuck your shit up? There's a liability. You got insurance, right? Hey, we wow. had a... Uh, we had a. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. It was an lie. incident years that's back crazy. where uh, a kid Man. got pissed <laughs> off at a teacher and they went and carved shit into another teacher's uh, hood and shit and she had a brand new car. But they thought it was the other teacher car. And the school, I they only remember offered that. up like maybe $500. That's cold. The parents, them, they didn't have money. I'm like, no, I'm suing the fuck out. And I'm whooping his little motherfucking ass. Yeah. Fuck that. Y'all paying for my brand new shit? But you know what? When I think about that area and the kids that go there, I know that teacher probably had a soft spot like on some like, damn, like, you know, I ain't got hard. no soft spot, bro. I feel you on that. I ain't got no soft spot. Nigga, I'm in a brand new whip and you done carved some shit in my oh, shit. Man. Fuck you and all this. On my brand new shit? Come on. Nigga, I'm fucking you yeah, up. You I'm, know, you done I'm fuck- probably going to punch your parents in hey, the fucking you know face. You, you done. F- problem in, you know what I'm saying? You done really? fucked up my brand new car. That shit's not here, brand new man. no more. You no. done just. And I'm punching somebody in the fucking face. Either y'all fixing my shit or I'm whooping ass. Yeah, and I crazy. might burn your shit tonight, nigga. <laughs> nigga, my shit fucked up. Fuck your shit. You ain't going nowhere. Man. Nigga, I'm, I'm, nigga, I told you I was petty, nigga. Hey. But you know what? Nigga, that ain't happening. We, we could blame that on the, on the school district. We mm. could. But instead of blaming the school district, I'm not even finna go there with it. Hey, Joe. Do we got a video this week, bro? <laughs> Motherfucker, do we got a video? Oh, you talking to me? Yes. No, nah, we ain't got no video. Man, we week. got a video. Hey, man, this is a brand new video. Hey, Ray, you want to tell them who it's from? Man, yes, sir. My dogs, man. Luck and Dom, bro. Y'all check them out right now, man, and tap in. My boy Luxy, y'all can check them out on uh, on Apple Music right now. Just choose a side right here. Tap in, yo. Shining off the shiny paint, hop out looking like we just robbed the city bank. Everybody go get us, but we can tell who really ain't. She said, You're nothing like these other guys. I said, Nah, baby, I really ain't. Sipping champagne out of red cups, backwood guts in the green grass. Shotty rolling up, never been a type that was scared to show love. They gon' hate, but you know, we don't give a fuck. Rest in peace of my dog, I know heaven couldn't wait. Keep watching over us all, I know you saving me a place. Yeah. City lights shining off the shiny paint. The pigs wanna stop a nigga, but they know they really can't. Cause we ain't gon' know right now when it's do it die.
Yes, sir. And that was your boys. What's their name? Yes, sir. Luxter. My boy Luck and Dom, man. Hey, that shit hey. was dope right there. I like that, bro. Yes, sir, man. Y'all boys keep going up, bro. Hey, that was hot. Definitely locked in. We'll give them a um, Modelo for you. Oh, that's what we doing now? When we like we the video, them, we, we give them a Modelo. Modelo. Okay. Modelo. Modelo in the business. We put, hey, anybody that got a dope video, at the end, if Joe like it, that nigga go give you a cans up. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe two. This, this oh maybe two. <laughs> See, you just gave him one too. All hey. right, we'll plug it this <laughs> Come on, man. I wanted to talk to y'all about this this King Von stuff too, man. It's a dude right now by the name of Trap Lord Ross, mm -hmm. and uh, he ended up releasing a video a, a video on YouTube just about uh, King Von, and it's a documentary about him being like the first like I guess rap serial killer, quote unquote. Really? Who? Uh, King Von. King Von's the first rap serial killer. Yeah, that's that's what he's labeling him as. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, you know, his story is crazy. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go check it out, Trap Lord Ross, like it's a crazy documentary. It's crazy because his uh, his brother, he felt like it's defamatory. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he pretty much got the video removed, and then uh, the dude just now reposted it back up. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it was generating a lot of views. You know what I'm saying? But really? he kind of like you know he don't want his bro view like that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it'll give people a, another side of, you know, another view of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because I'm going to tell you, everybody look at a person a certain way. Yeah. But then when you hear certain shit, you get a whole different perspective man, of him. Man. Like all of us, motherfuckers look at Joe and they just only see one side of him, but they don't know the other half of Joe. Man. A documentary. I'm, I'm a might... sensitive asshole. If you say so. <laughs> but, it's, but at it's least kind you label yourself. It is kind of in a negative light. Like, if I was his family, I would feel some kind of way. Like, the way I was watching it, you got to put yourself in their shoes, too. But, yeah. but at the same time, it's interesting. And I ain't going to lie, bro. Knowing where they, knowing where it came from, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, like, you know, it's a violent city. You feel me? So, man, these dudes got to protect themselves by any means. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, but now, is it truth? To the little documentary. It's That's what we gotta know. It's definitely some. There's definitely truth in there. You know but, what I'm saying. So if it's true, then I mean, shit. If it puts you in a negative light, shit is true. That that's what you Man. projected. Man. You know what I'm saying? True. Like I got a lot of people don't understand. Well, is it like about, saying you live by the sword, you die by the sword? Yeah, but Man. I'm gonna tell you, Joe. A lot of music and shit like that that people make. A lot of it is fiction, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But some true. of these people, they take it a different way, and they might yeah. uh, live on every word that I say. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my shit, I, I'm going to keep it 100. A lot of my music that I make is 90% true. 90%, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I do a song, it's 90% true. You had that other 10% where I might be on some fiction shit, but most of my shit is 90% true. A lot of artists can't say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists paint pictures of other shit that they ain't really doing, and then you got the whole world thinking that you really live by the sword and die by that motherfucker. Like Ja Rule? When, when you in oh. church every Sunday on some other shit. Oh, fire, man. <laughs> hey. I, I mean, but I mean, Joe, you can call out names. I ain't gonna do that to artists, you know what I'm saying? But a lot I'll of say niggas, it again, like Ja Rule. But a, a lot of niggas don't really live the way that they live in, but these fans, they actually think that it's really going mm -hmm. down like that. They think a lot of these artists are really from the streets when they ain't. Come they on. ain't got a tap of fucking credibility in these fucking streets. Come on, bro. Hey, I heard Ja Rule was like the real life what version of... What is you old Ja uh, Rule hey, like man. that, man? Uh, what the fuck was that fool's name ja from? Um, right now? Eight Mile? Oh, Chauncey about... or Clancy at the end? Oh, yeah. Joe, what, what's your beef with <laughs> Ja this morning? I don't know. It just, it just popped my in my head. Clarence. I don't know. Ja ain't yeah. one of your yeah. favorites today, man. Hey, huh? hey you brought yeah. it up. I it, didn't bring Ja. You brought Ja Rule up, man. I, ain't you 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 triggered rapper. you triggered something I seen. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with the singing oh, rapper. Man. He body fat Joe on that motherfucking uh versus. I'm oh, telling you that that nigga even told him he was like, Damn. nigga, you getting body by a singing nigga. Damn, bro, that's cool. And he really went in. Ja got hits like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's he deep. got hits. That's what he do. Yeah, he does. He does. You know what I'm he got hits, man. He definitely do. You know what I'm but saying? but Joe ain't feeling you today, air. Ja. Fuck it. Fuck your hits, nigga. Yo, he got, some good, head, he got some good ones. No, but I'm. <laughs> his music does not reflect the image he was portraying. A lot right. of dudes don't. And bro. that's what I mean by he, he is, wasn't bro. a gangster. I'm gonna keep it real. I think he used. To, I think he used to fucking go door to door selling Bibles. Now, see, bro, <laughs> hey, that's a hustle, bro. But look who he was around. Uh, was that murder, murder Inc. Whoever all them dudes was in the camp, like even uh, cause I was looking at the Murder Inc. documentary and shit, like they was around. Who's that? Yo Gotti, right? 
Yeah, uh, what is it? Nah, not Yo Gotti. Nah, I it forgot was, his uh, name. Uh, Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti. There you go. Irv My bad. Sorry. I know it was a Gotti. Uh, <laughs> he was Man. around DMX. He was around a lot of like. You know what I'm saying? He was around hood people. niggas. That's what I'm saying. And he had to portray so that. So he had to, you It's know. a lot of cats just like Man. that, bro. Man. Okay. It's a lot of cats just like that. You know what I'm saying? But the fans live on every fucking word you say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, Josh say this, so it got to be the truth. Come on. It ain't the truth. Man. That's how niggas get caught up on this dumb shit. He was around Jay-Z, too, bro. Yeah. yeah Man. And yeah. if you think about it, a lot of these young rappers, everybody right. toting guns on their songs, so these young cats, they feel like they got to have a gun. Man. You run up on this other nigga, he ain't really got no gun. His bodyguards might have one, but he ain't got one. He ain't from the streets like that. He ain't trying to get caught up. But these youngsters like, oh, well, he got one. I got to get one. Man. That's going to be their downfall. You wanna, and that's real what you said, bro. And that's why there's like a lot of brazen shootings nowadays because bro, of shit like that. Music, bro. Do you know who uh, NBA Youngboy is? Yeah. Uh, yep. He just had an interview, and he was speaking on his music. You feel me? And the impact he got on the young crowd. You feel me? He like, man, these people is really... Listening to my music and doing what I'm, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, you feel me? Like, and yeah. it's hard when you seeing shit in your city, you know, stuff happening and stuff like that. He, like, taking it upon himself. Like, damn, bro, he taking the blame. Like, this nigga shaking in the interview. you really are the cause of that Man, shit. Man, he's shaking mm-hmm. in the interview talking, you feel me? But, you really the cause yeah. of that shit. Man. I know a lot of people say if you promote positive shit, then positive things will happen. Yeah. But a lot of people don't want to hear that positive shit. Yeah. They want to hear that ghetto grimy shit because that's what... They've been listening to, and now they got that image in their head. I'm going to be like this person or that person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, eh. I don't like a lot of today's music. You don't really like it? I don't I don't really listen. You know what? I, I, I love listening to more hey. underground indie artists. I, I do too, Joe. Hey, motherfuckers, I like you, to tell stories. Dead, motherfuckers, a motherf- I can understand. Motherfuckers, I'm I can tell relate you why to. Hip-hop ain't dead, bro. My bro, rest in peace, man. He put me on Benny the Butcher too. Benny. My boy, uh, man, it's a lot of dope artists man, still out there, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a couple cold ones. You but know they why did the movie fucking Brown Sugar just pop in my head? Hey, oh, well, uh, <laughs> he's like hip hop ain't dead. <laughs> nah, it, it ain't, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? We, Wait, fuck it. What the fuck is his name? What? Uh, uh, you talking about uh, fuck it, the Miss Fat Booty motherfucker? Uh, uh, it's his goddamn name. You not talking about most death. Most death. Yeah, there you go. You know there what I'm saying? Go. Hey, man, hip-hop have so many levels to it, bro. Yeah. I, I happen to say this, too, man. Since I've been gone, I'm, I came back the age of hip-hop. Hip-hop is 50 years old. Your boy done turned 50 around this man. bitch. Me and Ray only 29. Fuck you and Ray, <laughs> motherfucker. I guess some of y'all elder in this bitch. Hey. You little young whippersnappers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but, hey. you know, shit, shit happens, man. Come Are you going to start on. giving directions? To people no, all no, weird and shit, you're no, gonna be I'm like, not, I'm not you gotta go that. there to buy that there big, there, there tree around the corner past that <laughs> fucking rock. <laughs> I'm and... not gonna do all that, bro. Hey, what happened to 7 Eleven? I don't know. So Close up his town. Oh, where? I didn't Did even see that. There. Did I didn't they? see that yeah. way. Hey, have y'all ever noticed y'all ain't never seen a Chinese food commercial, bro? <laughs> Wait, I'm about to say the Panda Express one, bro. But not no, you ain't not seen no mom and pop one. See, I'm not gonna answer that because the you last time the dog up on the air and be, shit, because some, because the last time I asked a question about Asians, child, man. the last time I asked a question yeah. like that about Asians, y- y'all got kind of upset with me. What you uh, mean? When I was like, why why you never see an Asian pumping gas? <laughs> okay, where you going with that? Well, it's like, why you never see Asian food on fucking on in a commercial? It's true. Why not? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Joe. I mean, shit. Man. Okay. <laughs> I, that's a good question, though. That's a yeah, very fucking good man, question. Man. I don't know what's going on. They trying to hide the real. Huh? Hey, I, I I don't know, <laughs> man. I, I'm you know Chinese places get so much of a bad rap. But at the same time, when you see certain shit, it's like, uh, y'all did that to yourself. Yeah. I done seen them motherfuckers eating rats. I done seen them eating dogs. I done seen them eating some weird shit. I done that seen I how these digest. motherfuckers fill up your plate for $10. Yeah, they do. Because it's all rice and noodles, nigga. Man, but hey, now let me ask y'all this. And it's if broccoli we, and dog. If we in a life and death situation. <laughs> I mean, beef and broccoli. We in a life and death situation, bro. Uh-huh. And, uh, you the first motherfucker I'm sp- killing. <laughs> <laughs> we having spare ribs tonight. <laughs> Hey, bro. Oh, well, I, I took it too far? I took it too far? Sorry, bro. Hey, no, Go ahead, I'll let you finish. You good. <laughs> hey, but on oh, everything, like, we in a life and death situation, ration short, you feel me? It's, it ain't much food out here left. Okay. You feel me? Like, we on our last. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, mm-hmm. 
You gonna chop up a rat? You gonna chop up a dog? You gonna, you gonna eat some tarantulas? Are you gonna eat a bat? You, you gonna eat that fish? I'ma say, if it's life and death, yeah. the world is fucked up. I ain't got too many choices around. I ain't eat no human. As long as I got some seasoning, <laughs> come on, bro. Put on this motherfucker in the barbecue grill. I might have a. Uh, I, I may be able to fuck around and turn something into nothing. Yeah, bro. You yeah. may catch a nigga uh, chewing on a rat or something. I don't. I don't know. I gotta have the right seasoning you for know, this motherfucker. I, I don't I'll know. be honest with you, I, c- I couldn't answer that question. I ain't gonna eat that because shit. Because I've never been in that situation. I ain't, I ain't gonna eat that shit, bro. I'm gonna be on but some I'm just looking berries or something. What the, I mean, what the, hey, that part. I and mean, what the I don't, world I, I, is coming to. I mean, you feel I, me? Like, if we ever get there. I'm gonna the, 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 get forced to eat healthy. Hey, the world on. that we're in right now, I have three backpacks full of rations. Come on. Um, dehydrated food and shit. <laughs> Really? I got three fucking survivor survival kits in a fucking Rachel storage unit right now. Really? That's what's up right there. Man. So I know I shit when I get low, <laughs> hey Joe, can I get a little something? I got that I got right. axes, I got machetes, I got fucking Come on. I got certain shit in there that I know I can sell or trade need be. Yeah. I got food, I got Come on. Okay. I'm pretty cool. So Joe hey. might be ready. Come nigga, on. I am totally off guard, nigga. I got a whole family, and we gonna be in this motherfucker like so. What we gonna eat? Facts. Come on, nigga. Just, I fuck around, go out there, and start growing tomatoes. Or just, some shit. just, just Man, know if all that shit ever happens, you gotta leave the city. Definitely. Cause all you're gonna end up being is a target. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you gonna go into the wilderness, and you gonna be all right. You gonna be all right. Okay. Nigga, I wouldn't mind rolling up on one of them bear steaks. That but you, you gonna, gonna have to go soup. without your phone too. Hey, just a figure. If it's the end of I the, don't even need a phone. If, if, yeah. if, if, if it's the end of the world and apocalypse, or like you're saying, or whatever, who you gonna call? By then, if if it's that bad, we're not gonna have no fucking power. We're not gonna have no fucking cell towers. We're, we're gonna be living off the fucking land. That's uh, true. Uh, fucking. That's true. <laughs> which yeah, will follow the sun. I won't rate to meet me but over you know here. So I got me a I'm gonna build about that big deal rock. Phones, you feel me, like oh, everybody, so like, hey. bro. Everywhere I'm gonna you keep go, it just in case you pictures. see kids right. walking, looking at their phone, not paying attention to shit. Right. You see adults walking, looking at their phones, not paying attention. Right. When you go to eat somewhere, everybody at that table got a fucking phone out, bro. Yeah. Everybody. I don't care what the situation is. Everybody got a phone out. Whether you playing a game, whether you looking at social media, everybody got a phone in their hand at all times. So motherfuckers will go crazy without a phone, bro. Definitely. They would. They would lose their motherfucking mind. <laughs> you not lying, bro. Yeah. Nigga, if my phone got cut off today, <laughs> nigga, I'd be like, thank you. Hey, Boss would be like, why you didn't call in? I ain't got a phone. Bro, phone. <laughs> Shit. Huh? I kept trying I to call Collect. I, I was paying attention. Hey, exactly. Oh, yeah. And he got the camera on him and shit. I was paying attention. Sorry. And the camera was on you, nigga, while you on your phone. Hey. The shit is valid than a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? You understand me, goddammit? Hey. Hey. Elevated Bakery's texting me. Hey, we got a new show today, man. Hey, if y'all ain't doing shit about uh, 3 o'clock, we got the podcast coming on on the Big Ski Radio. Hey, at 5 o'clock, we got the Dusty Joe Kickback Hour coming on. And also, at 7 o'clock, we got the Latin Hip Hop, all from Dusty Joe, man. So y'all fuck with Sundays, man. It's on and cracking, man. Come on. If y'all trying to hang out and have a good time, it's perfect barbecue weather today. So, I mean, y'all get out there, light the grill up, and just hang, man. It's going to be so If you have a barbecue, invite me over. I'll, I'll Uber over. Your Uber oh, over, Joe? Uber over. U- U- Uber over. Joe, hey, I don't Joe, know, man. You can't I trust. I sound like a straight bitch. I Uber over. Hey, you can't trust everybody fool, man, Joe. No, you cannot. I don't know, hey, you man. Know what? That's crazy because I don't trust a lot of people's food. Yeah, I don't bro. either, bro. So if you kick, if you cooking cat, right, and a uh, dog, don't invite me over because I'm going to talk bad about your shit once I walk in and it smell funny. My bro, my big bro laugh at me, Ronnie, man. This nigga, he, he feel like I eat anything. I'm just like, bro, man. Hey, nah. you Mikey? He'll eat anything. <laughs> right. I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat. I'll try certain things. But there's oh, so like. Joe, you, he'll eat anything. There, there's certain hey. shit that I just look at and be like, oh, hell no. I got nah, there, there's some shit I just won't eat either. Joe, you done ate some shit that's questionable to me, though. <laughs> but it's crazy. I won't go out and eat no fucking um, cow brains. Or tongue. 
Or bull balls. I won't eat shit like <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't want no bull balls today, nigga. I'll eat some alligator. I'll eat some fucking... Sh- I'm not meat. eating it, Joe. I'll eat some Would fucking eat some ostrich egg, you snake, eat, shit oh, like that. I wouldn't. I I'm not know. fucking with it, Joe. I'm not but like you ate frog before, huh? Huh? Frog legs? Yeah, I've eaten frog legs before. Everybody like it tastes like chicken. No, the fuck it don't. I it was know. actually kind of rubbery when I ate it. Yeah, see. That's how the taste of shrimp is to me. That's why I can't fuck with shrimp. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I love shrimp. I could eat nah, shrimp. I don't know about no frog legs, man. Right, you wouldn't try a barbecue frog leg? Nah, I'm cool. Fry frog leg? Straight. I don't even eat sushi, bro. bro. Like, people be we, laughing at me, uh, like, bro. Y'all really fuck with this shit, when, man. When I, don't when know. I, <laughs> like, I yeah, I, I, I eat some fried fish. You feel me? But I can't you know, eat sushi, bro. Shit, bro. I, I there's can't. This, there's this place. I guess they're on the East Coast. Okay. And I, when I went out on it, it, it was it's a restaurant called Rubido. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You probably heard of it, Ski. The name sounds familiar. It's, it's, it's a restaurant called Rubido. Yeah. And th- this is where I would go eat the frog legs and the fucking alligator. I ain't with it. I don't, all that ain't no need shit. for me to go there. So how much is a is a two piece frog legs? Fuck if I know. <laughs> I don't. We used to go in there, get drunk, hey. and just start eating shit. Yeah, okay. I'm not. Uh-uh. But the fucking frog legs look like a fucking just like a big one of them big ass fucking chicken wings. I don't, God, the, Joe. The last time I got drunk and just went and ate some shit, I woke up with a glazed mouth. It's too bad. I don't know about that one. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I fucking my hope. Beard, I hope my it was. Beard was than a motherfucker. I <laughs> hope. I hope it was because you found a twenty-four hour Krispy Kreme or something. <laughs> <laughs> Something you get for eating while I'm drunk and shit. You know I, ho- I hope it was a crispy. I hope it was donuts. Hey man, it did wonders for my face. Yo, <laughs> oh man, tis mother. Hey, you never know what the fuck gonna happen up here, man. Hey, it's Come your on, boys, man. man. We chilling, man. He hey, swallowed it. Shit, <laughs> I mean, yo. And you never know what the fuck you gonna get with us, man. This shit, Gosh, motherfucker. Hey, hey, shit just flows out of our motherfucking mouth, and that's because we have no filter and we don't give a fuck. This is your boys, man. man you know bro. what I'm saying? Hey, man, y'all got a gripe of the week? Do I have a gripe of the week? Yeah, Joe. I want to ask you all. Oh, last, well, I want to talk to y'all about one more story, man. man right it's it. a uh, Florida middle school teacher. She was accused of organizing fights between students. You know, while class was going on, like nigga, you know, that's like, dope. Like you no yelling, what? no screaming, you no nigga, that's dope. You, you know, know what? what? Loves y'all handle it. <laughs> I seen that story. Yeah, bro. And and do you know it comes it comes down to it, she wasn't organizing the fights. Uh huh. She just was like, y'all want to fight, fight. Yeah, I'm not I gonna was, I'm not gonna stop you. She was just sitting there like. I would be that type of teacher, yeah, but I would have seconds. gloves. Yeah, 30 it's seconds. Like 30 She's seconds. like, you got 30 seconds. Just yeah. like, oh, do what you want to do. Yeah. Hurry I, the fuck I up. I come with gloves on so that way they don't go home with some bullshit. Like, nigga, y'all been beefing all period. Put these gloves on. What y'all want to do? Come on. The funny part is, no, it's crazy. Was she taping it, though? No, she she, she was like, if y'all going to fight, you guys going to do something? No screaming. Yep. No hollering. No, no fucking well, how did they up. find out? And they said that, no um, phones. Um, Somebody told on them, so yeah. it was like a detective uh, indicated that you know it was a probable cause for after David. So he reviewed the videos, you feel me, and then he intervened. You feel but me? why have videos? I'm like, nigga, yeah. y'all go ahead. And that's the thing. Sure that's the thing. The teacher somebody was like, was, no phones. Yeah, somebody was recording. So, so somebody was. You, yeah. you know these fucking kids. They don't yeah. listen. Nigga, they I work that, everybody bring me the phone. Everybody we, got a phone. Bring it to part. me. We work they in a school. That, uh, and how much do fucking kids listen? They don't they listen don't. at all. They don't. She was charged with four counts of uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Dude, I'd be fucked then. I needed to hear this story because I'm that type of motherfucker. Like, hey, y'all got to pray. Go over there in the corner. Go handle it. I remember back in the day. I mean, like. Ten years ago, when I was barely in high school, you was a goddamn um, lie about uh, all of this. <laughs> no, when I when, when when I was in school, I don't okay. know if you remember this. You know, motherfuckers had beef. The coaches used to be like, "Oh, you motherfuckers got a problem." Yeah, go get the gloves. Come that's on. that's the type that's of how motherfucker my basketball I am. coach was. Like, they if go, you go ever had a like. problem in the gym, you went to Dominguez. Him, he would let them fight. Yeah. You went to you Dominguez. Feel me? Like, and you it'd be it'd be shit? bro. Nah, uh, oh well, you it'd okay, be squabs in our gym. Like practice, like, we practicing, bro. And like somebody, I don't even know, dude was probably like you know fouling my boy kind of hard or whatever. But he told him a couple times, like man, you know, chill. You know what I'm saying? And then dude just kept doing what he was doing. Bro, next thing you know, he just squared up with him. Punched on him twice, and then you know, dude, just you know what? Back in the day, too, he like you know handle y'all. Back in the day too, know. it was a lot. It was a lot cooler. A lot, motherfuckers had a lot more respect. Man, come on. If not, it's, they it's, got some after they got their. It's ass like work. if me and Ski had beef. It's like, all right, yeah. motherfucker, let's go behind this building over here. Let's let's 
Let's yeah. get down. Come on, man. Man, let's go but, have a but, drink about but it. But we later. had enough respect, me and him. If he whooped my ass, it was like, all right. Nah, or I whooped his, it was all right. These we went our separate ways. Yeah. Niggas is coming back these Exactly. Days. But that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Shit's different from. Yeah. It's way different, bro. You but know, then again, yeah. too, if we would if we both would have got caught, we would have got our ass whooped. Yeah. Remember, Daddy used to paddle. Remember? Yeah. 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 Oh, some real <laughs> shit. That's deep right there, man. Ugh. But hey, I'm in favor and, of letting them fight. And then it's it. crazy too, because back in the day, when we were in school, you know how motherfuckers, there's a fight. Oh, fight, fight! Everybody fucking wants to huddle around. Nah, we used to take that shit behind the fucking building somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's just us. Man, we let's would go just, knuckle up. It, it, it was me, you, maybe a couple of homies. Come on. Let's go knuckle the fuck All right, up. I'm going with him just in case your homies jump in. Yeah. But it was never a jump in. Yeah, because they seen each other homies and mm-hmm. shit, and they like, well, fuck it, let them go. They let them go out. Let them get that shit out their fucking system. Exactly, and then you was better for it afterwards, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, hey, man, enough of team fighting and shit like that. Hey, I do support it, though. I'm going to keep it 100. Hey. Nigga, you got a problem, nigga, go square up. Okay, <laughs> what about this other teacher? What about this other teacher that fucking... Got suspended from school because she had a... Hold on. I can't remember if it was a he or a she. Okay. But it was a teacher. Okay. They had a um, water bottle full of fucking um, <laughs> liquor and soda. Okay, shit. That's my type of teacher. So she's in the classroom with a fucking flask. Yeah. One of them hydro flasks with, okay. with liquor and soda. Just to make it through the day. It was a horrible... But I don't know why they fucking searched her car. She ended up having a fucking half, half a bottle of liquor in her car. She ended yeah. up getting... Was it car on campus? Yeah. That's what the problem is. Park that bitch on the street that day and they can't check a motherfucking thing. I don't blame the teacher. Hey, sometimes these kids are running you motherfucking raggedy. I don't fucking blame that teacher one bit for wanting to have a fucking drink on a job. Hey. Man. Bro, we are janitors. We, you, we you are. You want a drink on the job? Yes. <laughs> he like shit. No, wait a minute. But we are janitors. We, That's You know, we really don't fucking deal. With, well, yeah, we do. But these kids are just so fucking disrespectful. They are. They are. And yeah, and the yeah. parents don't and, really and, support and, people, those, and, and these man. parents don't understand that shit or, 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 you know, help. A lot of parents, they live on their kids' words. You may have a great kid, a great kid, but when they get around these other kids, it's bad influences. Your, your honest little angel can become an mm-hmm. asshole. Yeah. But the parents real. live on every word. That's why... Yeah. Working at a school, I've been blessed to see this shit both hands. So if my kids tell me something against one of a teacher, okay, I'm gonna take my kids side and shit like that. But I'm not gonna go press the teacher till I talk to the you, teacher you, and gonna... find out both sides. And I want my child there, yeah. So my child so can hear what the fuck going, going on, on so I can determine if my kid is lying when they say certain yeah. shit. Because I know my child, and mm-hmm. I know how my child is. I know my kid is lying and all that. So I'm gonna bring that that my kid in there with me, and we are gonna have this meeting. If my kids is on some real shit and I know it. Okay, now I'm on the teacher here. Yeah. Right or I'm trying to figure out how, we can, how we can fix this yeah, shit. Yeah, you're going to escalate the issue. But if I notice or pick up that my kid is on some bullshit, yeah, we're we going to have a good conversation in the core. And it's going to be some real fuckery going on. You know, it's on. crazy because um, I, I see this shit every fucking day. And I am so fucking glad. Mm-hmm. My, my girls got common sense. Uh, They're good girls. Yes, They've they They've never are. been yes, in trouble. They They've never... Fucking straight A students, you know they mm-hmm. they're good girls, and I am so whether it be to because of me, yeah, they probably or because or because of, of their mother <laughs> or whatever we did. I am I'm blessed. Come on, bro. Yeah. they're they're good girls. Yes, they are. Shout out to it's your girls too, man. Him, man. I mean, having a, a father that's an asshole and they turned out <laughs> perfect, man. Hey, I got a lot of respect for your girls, man. Oh shit. Hey, I, me too. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey man, hey. Y'all did I tell you? Did I tell you Desiree got accepted to a fucking university? Which one? Um, what is it? Um, Rhyming Arts, Oldest did, College. Did she commit hey. yet? Or yeah. She, all that's right. What's up, that's man. what I'm Come talking on. about. Yeah, she, man, we that's still dope. She this? got a um art scholarship. That's dope, that's bro. That's really real, man. Yeah, we still got to pay out of pocket a little bit, but hey, hey I'm so proud of her. It's dope, bro. Congratulations, yeah, Desi. Man. We still trying to figure out little Daryl situation and shit. He went to Cal Poly Pomona and went uh. Worked out with him the other day and shit. Coach liked him. Was like, man, this dude's a total package. Good grades, and he athletic. Mm-hmm. He wanted to try to get him. Boy. Now the craziest thing, I walked in the house the other day. I'm drunk as a motherfucker. Wifey was like, oh, we got a Zoom meeting. A Zoom meeting with who? She was like, with the coach and shit. So I'm thinking it's with uh, they coach at Long Beach Jordan and shit. Come in, it's a, uh, a coach that been seeing him practice oh, at uh, oh, Compton word. College. Word. 
So he want my son to come to Compton College. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want my, my son at a uh, JV. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want him at a full year uh, yeah. university. Yeah. But homeboy's like, man, we can't offer this, but we can offer this. We got a great program. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've been watching your son. Nigga, keep watching, but he ain't going to Compton yeah. College. Oh, shit. You know what I'm on, saying? Bro. I mean, it's good to hear somebody that want him, right, like right. homeboy want him, but yeah. nah, I don't want him at a JV. Right, right. You know what I'm okay, saying? My, my son, he has... Everything he needs to be in a four year uh, university. Come on, and man. I'm going to do everything it takes to make sure he get there. That's right. Man. You know what I'm saying? I take out a fucking loan on the house to make sure I can pay for this nigga schooling because this nigga, is, he's brainy. Come you on, know what I'm man. saying? He, he's about his business. He won't let me down. You know what I'm saying? So I risk everything I got. And, and, and that's crazy. My, my girls that's ain't that athletic. Shit. Yeah. They're nerds. They're hey. fucking smart. Come on. You are too, to a certain degree. Trish. I'm smart when I want to be. Yeah, you hey. smart. I act dumb. You smart every hey, weekend, no you smart that, ass. Hey. I act dumb. Yeah, but hey. hey, but that works to your advantage, hey, I was bro. just finna say that, bro. It works to your advantage. Hey, While a motherfucker trying to play you short, you like, nigga, I got you. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Some real shit. Hey, man, our time is winding down, man. Y'all got any gripes of the week, Joe? What's happening, man? You got a gripe You know what? Up? Nah, I ain't got no gripes. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I promised myself earlier that I wasn't going to talk down on certain situations anymore. God. Okay, okay. Right, man. You got any gripes for the week, bro? Man, uh, yeah, I do, actually, man. But I oh, changed my mouth. now. He like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, speak on the Joe the truck down Hell and yeah. shit like that. You may have something over there in the gas station. Nah, I ain't got no gripe. I'm Come just on. blessed to be alive. That's right. I woke up this morning. Come I on. got a roof over my head. I like that, I got Joe. three beautiful babies, three beautiful I, grandkids. That's what the right fuck there. I need to you complain about today? You got some good friends today? and shit? I got good friends. Okay. I got homies. Oh, All that right. part. I got sure. I got a son in law that I didn't really want, but hey, he grew on me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we sometimes like him and shit. I mean, yeah, sometimes. Like Speaking with Brings Bear. Okay. Hey. All right, well, fuck I'm it. I'm just blessed. I Come like on, that, bro. So I won't complain. Okay. Sorry I interrupted you. Nah, you gave right. one, bro. You hey, got to get yours, Hamlet. man. Come on. <laughs> right, what you got, man? What, what kind of gripes you got, bro? Man, I, I was just talking to my cousin, man, Alf, and, you know, we were just speaking on morals, man, and, you know, how a lot of people lack them. You know what I mean? But I just want to tell people to just value themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this life is short. Hey, and that's the thing. A yeah. lot of people don't have no self-value, bro. A lot of yeah. people don't know they worth. Man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people cut themselves short yeah. when they shouldn't. And, and it's crazy because for a long time, after I got out of my marriage, mm-hmm. I felt like that. Mm. My 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 self worth was was low. It's a lot of my, people. My like self that esteem. Have, I, yeah. It took me a long time to realize. You know what? It, it took me a long time to realize to to love myself. Mm, that's hey, how do I expect somebody to love me if I can't love myself? That's, that's it, right there, thing. Joe. If you don't love that's yourself, real. the next person ain't gonna love you either. No, exactly. Because yeah. you know you're gonna turn around and get into another relationship. You're bringing that trauma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just bringing that trauma with you into another relationship. Now nah, you gotta learn. Your, you gotta learn to love yourself. Yeah, that's real. Because then you know how you want to be loved. And then the person that comes along, and you know that's the perfect person for you. Because they're loving you the way you know you should be loved. That's real. So anybody out there, real talk, if you're searching for love, make sure you love yourself first. Yes. You know how you want to be treated. You know how you're supposed to be treated. Love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Hey, me, bro, I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't really got a gripe of the week this week. But something interesting happened to me, bro, and I, I, I was digging it. Uh, we work at a school. Uh. Fuck you. We, we work at a school, bro. And I don't know how, but a lot of these kids know I do music now. So a lot of these kids done went and found my, my page. And they be like, hey, I'm listening to your music. And when you going to drop another album and hey, shit like that? So I got people walking around like, do you really do music? I'm like, yeah, I do music and shit. They be like, well, how do they? I don't know how they know. But fuck it. It's a new fan. Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell a kid, I don't recommend you play this in front of your parents. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you found it, but shit, fuck it. Come it's on. another view. I'm going to keep it 100. I know. That's the crazy that part, crazy, too. Right? These yeah. fucking kids do know. That's deep. Yeah, they they know. do know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers, they, they know the big ski entertainment shit. They know it's going down. So yeah. I had this little kid, bro, and he was like, Man, when you gonna drop another album, man? He was like, I know you got some more music. Did I'm you like, look at him like, what the fuck you talking about? Nah, because he, he wanted once telling motherfuckers I do music. Oh, I right. got random kids talk, coming up to me talking about, yeah, I heard your songs That's and what's shit. up. I'm like, damn. Cool. So uh, I tell a little kid, I'm like, look, bro, I got my next three albums already recorded. He like, really? So he looking at me kind of saying <laughs> like I'm lying or something. I was like, but I'm in all kind of shit, bro. And uh, 
we we talked about the radio station. So he tried to tell one of the uh, coaches. He was like, I don't think he really got a radio station. He was like, No, he really do. He was like, For real? So oh, now shit. the little kid is listening to me. And hey. So I went on and uh, broke down some knowledge to the little kid. Hey. I said, Look. It don't matter how old you are, never give up on your dreams. On, if a man. person tell you you can't do something, prove them wrong. That's real mm-hmm. right there, man. And the kid, he was listening to every word I said. So wow. when we walked off and shit, the next day, the, the PE coach came to me and he was like, hey, bro. I was like, what's up? He was like, thank you for telling that kid that. He was like, what you told him was some real shit. He was wow. like, I could tell him all day long, wow. but I'm a teacher. Yeah. You somebody else, mm-hmm. and he can actually see the shit that you're doing. You're mm-hmm. like a motivation to these kids. He was like, that was important what you told him. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I, I tell that to all kids. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want, but more than likely, people are going to doubt you. That's real. Keep pressing. And you know what? Yeah. And, and, and In all honesty, he, he's right, because I think me growing up, we grew up in a different time. Yeah. So, you know, there were certain things I wanted to do, music. Fuck, I'll turn you early. I wanted to do tattoos. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have that drive. It wasn't like, oh, come on, dude, let's go do it. Yeah, somebody it was, to push you. Yeah, somebody to push me in the direction I wanted. It, it, it was more of a pat on the back. Okay, good job, guy. But it wasn't like, hey, you know, you know, kicking knowledge. Us, and, a lot of yeah. us didn't have that. That's you true. know. That's true. And... I, Sometimes I, I I think you know what what if I would have had that push, but you know what, what? what if but you know what, I think if I would have had that push back in the day, I'd be a lot worse. Oh, you wow. probably would. Wow. Everything happens. I'd, I'd probably be a, a a drug addict. I'd probably be dead. I'd probably be fucking. I don't know. Everything happens. In all for honesty, because oh, I I did end up being a drug addict. Yeah. So what if, what if by chance that motherfucker would I would have got where I wanted to be? Yeah. Oh shit! Money, money. Come mm. on, man. Drugs. Mm. That's real right there. Alcohol. Mm. I'd probably be dead. Mm. So maybe saying, maybe it didn't happen for a reason. But I'm saying that it's a good thing, too, because now you get to choose how you want to go about it with exactly. your daughters, with your granddaughters. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And how you choose to be there. I'm a lot more it's, educated. Come yeah. on, now. Yeah. Come on, bro. And it it's takes only going to make it better that. for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It takes time for that to develop, bro. Man. On some real shit. But I'm glad that I'm in a position where I can show my kids, no matter what you do, you can always do better and never let nobody steal your dream or your thunder from you. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm defying odds and shit. I got I'm up against the wall with time and I'm still I, pushing I, out I, shit. I think the best advice I can get somebody give somebody mm-hmm. is don't become complacent. Mm. There you go with that shit, Joe. Hey, but it's, that's some real. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> motherfuckers can it's get true hey, though. Yeah, it, it's true. It's like me. I went to the district. Mm-hmm. I didn't plan on being a fucking janitor for eight years. I wanted to be a fucking... You're the best fucking one that I know, though. I went hey, in. Everybody made me these big promises. Oh, just go fucking be a janitor for six months. You can get into the network department or you can get into IT. What do you do this? I got complacent. Lies. I got I got comfortable in where I was at. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, fuck, I don't want to be a fucking janitor. This wasn't what I wanted to do in the fucking first place. Hey, you know what? Me either. And I'm getting ready to retire maybe know, in huh? about another five years from doing this shit. But it wasn't what I wanted, Joe. But what I wanted was to do my own thing. So what I did is I did my own thing on the side, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Being a, a, a custodian, you know what I'm saying? It's actually financing everything else that I wanted to do in mm-hmm. life. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm glad I'm in a position to talk to youngsters and kind of help guide them on what they want to do. I'm like, hey, you see this side of me. But yeah. there's a lot to Big Ski. That's a major, fucking bro. Lot. Mm-hmm. That's major. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had a, a meeting with the union rep the other day. And Joe is one of our shop stewards or becoming one of our shop stewards. They was like, why don't you try to be one too? I got too much shit on my plate. You know I mean, I mean, he'd be awesome at it. He would be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would be, but I got too much on my plate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm more or less thinking about how to create more shit for Big Ski Entertainment. Fuck it. Working for somebody else and doing some other shit. I'm trying to get this shit cracking for us. So on that note, hey, never give up on your motherfucking dreams. Nah. If somebody tell you you can't do something, prove them wrong. On, you feel me, me? Me, all mine got were put on the back burner. A lot of shit I just, I can't even draw no more. I'm like a little crackhead. Yeah, you got to. Oh, it's been, it's. Got to get it done, Last time man. I tried to crawl, I can't, I mean, draw, I can't. My hands shake too much now. 
I well, can't, I can't, I put can't. Put a beer in that bitch and then <laughs> draw hey, another one. No shit, huh? <laughs> hey, man, I, we, we fucking around, man. But you never know. But, hey, at the end of the day, never give up on your dreams. Yeah. Hey, man, we finna get the fuck up out of here, man. I don't know what y'all doing, but I know what we doing. Before we go, before we go, before we go. Uh-huh. Make sure, before you cross the street, you look both ways. Look both motherfucking <laughs> ways. And, you and don't run with scissors. Ooh. Come on, that's like it. That. That's hey, that's your Sunday. Um, I got two birthday shoutouts too, man. You know, shoot them. Uh, my boy Rock, man. Happy birthday, happy man. Birthday, happy Rock. birthday, Rock. Happy birthday, Rock. Happy man. And then to Eugene, boy, man. Rest in peace and happy birthday, man. Rest in peace, Eugene, and happy heavenly birthday, bro. <clears throat> yes, sir. Hey, man. On that note, man, we finna get up out of here, man. It's your boy Big Ski. That's your boy Dusty Joe. Your boy Neil Ray. Hey, man. Here, man. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Keep tapping in, man. We always here. And don't forget. The Dusty Joe Kickback Hour is coming up today. And don't forget, for all the updates, for all the new videos, all the new episodes, anything, don't forget to check out www.anythinggoescpt.live. And we out. Yes, sir. Peace.